Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Heidi Longa. Today, the Pima County Health Department released new details on the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. They're for kids between six months and five years old and were approved by the CDC and FDA over the weekend. At a news conference earlier today, Dr. Teresa Cullen answered questions about incoming doses of COVID-19 vaccines for that age group. The county is slated to get 2,000 pre-ordered doses and then they plan to order more as needed. Those vaccinations are expected to start tomorrow morning. The six month to five years um, is uh, about 80, 90,000 children that we hope to be able to participate in vaccination. The one other thing I should share is the vaccines will be available at our clinics. Dr. Cullen also says getting accurate COVID case counts has been challenging because at home results aren't being reported. Right now, Pima County is in a moderate transmission phase of the virus. And with scorching temperatures, AC becomes essential if you live in Arizona in the summer. But with supply chain shortage issues, almost everything has been impacted. Those who run into problems with their AC unit may be in for a wait. We spoke with Strong Built. They say they've seen shortages in just about everything from AC units to the chips needed to keep them going. The equipment scrambling a little bit, but thankfully Strong Built, you know, we were able to jump ahead and order a big bulk of equipment to have stocked to be able to take care of our clients. To read more about the story, you can head to kgun9.com. A good chance of thunderstorms returns to southeastern Arizona on Tuesday. Some storms could be strong and produce heavy rain and damaging wind, along with some localized flooding. Plenty of moisture will remain over the region to produce a daily dose of thunderstorms through the end of the week. High temperatures will hover around 100 degrees from Wednesday through the weekend.